Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill with the second episode in the adventure of Schmitty, our high elven wizard, follower, worshipper of Sith Muna in Dungeon Crawl Stone 2. So, I was pretty happy with the result of the first episode, although we suffered two deaths, we got a character running. And that's the character that you see here. He's currently wearing Rope of Magic Resistance, Para I think you can see it better on which was in that screen. Yeah, a dagger, a rope of magic resistance, plus two, plus one pair of gloves, and a ring that gives him dexterity, mana points, and some strange random teleportation. Apart from that, he has learned a couple of spells, which are magic dart, blink, conjure flame, mephitic cloud, and repel missiles. So, I think that's pretty good to start with. We've reached dungeon level five, and we... Uh, Wait a second, uh, we just retreated from the other level, didn't we? So maybe we should take another dance there. Yeah, 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 I remember. There were a couple of dangerous foes down here that we didn't yet manage to beat. So, this back has, uh, can we kill him quickly? Magic dart. Well, quickly something else, I guess, but he dies. Good. Dropping a blackened fluorescent wand. I can take with me. It's a wand of fireball, nice. It's definitely good to have. Oh, we got teleported away. That's the yeah, I'm yet not convinced if we stay with that ring. Sometimes that can be pretty annoying. Enchanted dagger. Try that out. We've got an ordinary dagger at the moment. This is a dagger plus three. Definitely a nice increase. Increases our chance to hit greatly. Down he goes. Another enchanted dagger. Uh, we don't have any remove curse spells, so I'd rather stay with the one we've got right now. Uh, no, no, I, I'll keep it with me for a while. But I'm gonna use that. Here is the room with all these orcs who got into that dangerous situation. Yeah, I to check. Presentation. Ah, still barely castable, but I'd like to be able to use wands and stuff like that, so I keep that. And Nazir. I don't think we need that as if Muna Worshipper. Yeah, uh, that's not bad. Invocation. General energy, maybe we should increase that first. Uh, mm -hmm. Stop spell casting for a while and take invocation and evocation so we can reliably um, um, refresh our mana reserves if we need it. Really not sure about the build, what I should increase. So maybe it's a bit uh, confused. Something of this, something of that. Maybe it's not the most efficient way to do that. But at least we will learn a lot from this one. Fuck. Conjure flame here. Good. Where are the stairs? Right upstairs. Here, here, here. Here again. Okay. Conjure flame another time. Bye bye. So, that was a pretty stylish. <coughs> Pretty stylish escape, I think. Okay, hungry though, let's eat some bread. Can we kill this guy now? Let's try it. There he is. The flame up here. Another one here. And now attack him. Magic dart. Wait. Oh, he can attack us from there. Fuck. Is it 
dangerous. Dangerous. I'll have to take another dance. Oh, hi. I'll have to take another dance. Maybe that one. Already got most of the stuff in this level, anyways. And then we can get deeper. Uh, we don't know the third dance there yet. Yeah, there he is. I tried differently. I tried to confuse him first. Fatty Cloud, he's out of range. Oh fuck, it's a lot of them. Fatty Cloud. So, now attack. Magic Dart on the Magic Spellcaster first. So confused, and down he goes, good. Maybe that's the better way to do it. Confuse him and then safely kill him from a distance. Oh fuck you, why is he so hard to kill? Shot on power points. Let's see if we can channel energy. And we killed him. Whew, finally. Also increased our channel energy. Not 21% chance. Drop. Nothing that we need. <coughs> all in all, pretty successful fight. So, we don't reach that level yet, so we should try to get up there from the other side. Maybe scout it completely anyways, let's check it out. Ah, a lot of temples. Interesting layout, but uh, we already found our beauty of choice. You hear the hiss of flowing sand, let's see if we can find it in town. that we don't have magic mapping. Oh, but that looks promising. The yellow stone up there. Get over there. That looks good. Do we want to try it? I think so. So, first. Can we confuse these guys? That's the question. Very versus both. So can I regenerate? I try that out just so we know how we deal with undead. Nah, they don't look very confused. They cannot take a lot either. It's pretty easy, apparently. Yes, they were far not enough to use that reliably. I don't want to too is I don't want to increase that too high. I'd rather stay with conjuration. Uh, maybe a bit of fire magic would be nice for our conjure flame spell and maybe to use that a bit more often in the future. behind these doors. Single zombie here. Same here. Maybe it's the same for all these rooms. We'll see. So maybe it's kind of a of a graveyard, tomb chamber, so so 
big uh, rooms with the doors uh, left. Exciting, exciting. Let's check. Oh fuck. Ah, uh, that was not intended. How do we handle that? Let's try to get them from a distance. Oh, wow, there's a lot of traps here. Marked by Mark of the Dead. Why don't we kill this guy? <coughs> this guy could be stronger. A mummy. <coughs> Very slow. Intelligent. Immune to poison and negative energy. Hmm. Maybe it's not that strong in the end. Usually the best thing against mummies is... We don't have... Uh, fireball. Oh fuck, we would fireball ourselves. That's maybe not what we want. Kill this guy first. Let's see if we can also kill the mummy. Ouch! That hurt. Try to stay at a distance. Do I want to walk into the trap? Maybe not. Holy fuck! I have to walk into it. And down it goes. Very good. Let's see what is behind these. Red is unknown scroll. Amnesia, magic mapping, nice. Unknown potion, amnesia, noise. I'd like to check the unknown scrolls. Recharging, put that on fireball. <coughs> this is teleportation. Yeah, so we will teleport soon. Aha, uh -huh. aha. Uh -huh. This is the other side of the big room. Let's check the small rooms first again. Not very tough, it's no problem actually. Oh. Spectral goblins. Harmless, immune to poison, blah, blah, blah. Why will you can see invisible, it can fly, it is small, it may attack to drain skills. Ah! How annoying. Ah, good. So, maybe now we can fight them one at a time. That's different spectral beings, rats, goblins, other beings. Okay, we're doing that pretty well. Still get hunger from the magic dart spell. No, no, no. We don't get any hunger from any of our spells. That's good at least. The undead are maybe not our favorite enemies because they are immune to the mephitic cloud, as we found out. of experience, I think. Fire magic is level 1, good. Communication is 1.4. 1.5. Mm -hmm. 
percent still the same. Check if we missed them. Ah, okay, there are still a couple of these guys. Come on. <coughs> Left, and I think that might be everything now. Nah. Just a couple of zombies in these chambers. Yeah, we didn't get a real big lot of great stuff here, too, but well, drop the poison by the way. We need to carry that around for the same noise. Take a lot. Whoa! Pet simulacrum, goblin simulacrum. Can we kill the pretty? Yes, we can. Get low on power points though. Close that. Close that. Wait to regenerate. Good. Next try. Anything else? Yes. So it's neat. Not that worth all in all, but well. Experience! <coughs> A white that was identified. I definitely used that on. One of our potions, lingification. Not the most useful. Nah. Justice, I guess. It's not yet dead. Sprig and Baker. Didn't see us yet, so let's do that. I don't know how strong the Sprig and Baker is, but I know. Now he has got a serious problem. <coughs> yeah, apparently, he can take a bit. A couple of hits. And he gave us two bread rations. Wow! Four bread rations. That's nice to have. We didn't have a lot of food. At one point, I'd like to find a new book with offensive spells. I don't think we can kill everybody with magic dart to the end of the game. Great sword? Nay. Player? Nay. No thanks. An amulet. At the moment we don't have an amulet. I'd like to try that. It's an amulet of warding. What exactly does that do? Um, repels some of the attacks of creatures which have been magically summoned. And resistance to draining attacks, which is well, it was not the best we could have found, but it's better than no amulet, that's for sure. So, done with this level. Fire magic 2, how did that, that change? A bunch of flame 3%, that's really good. I don't think we need a lot more here. I think I'd rather go back to conjuration spellcasting and I keep. I haven't touched it. I keep invocation up to So, what awaits in this level? Again, it looks very dark and gloomy. Which usually means you have to use a lot of food because there's not so much around that you can eat. Oh, no. More than one, no. I hope I can lure this single one away. Friends don't follow. Ah, uh, seems to work. <coughs> went away. Check this ring too. It is a ring of magic power. Yay! 
take a look at that. 37 power points. We'll spam our spells from now on. Oh, okay, that's a lot of them. Fuck. Good. Method Cloud. Uh oh, Orc Beast. Uh oh. We still know from the last episode that Orc Priests can be pretty tough. Pretty annoying. Oh shit. Uh, this is tricks. Could I get the nuts or how did he attack us? Oh my god. Need to get rid of him. This is definitely stronger than us. What spells could be used? Blink. Oh. Oh, bye bye. <sighs> that water snake. Holy cow. Oh, fuck. There's one thing I forgot throughout the whole last level. Put out on this hat. Well, it does actually nothing. I put it on anyways. You're a wizard, you want a hat. Fuck. Okay, Phantom. Let's kill the Phantom. Oh, we can't kill it. An ogre. Mephitic Cloud. Down he goes. Very good. Get the ogre. Downstairs. Let's try that downstairs. Oh! One might walk towards. Or no, no, I, I go. I go directly back up. Where else could we go? Here maybe? Yeah, that means we have to kill this guy first again. Blinks away. And is dead. Invocation to level 3. 40% gets better and better. <coughs> oh fuck. Water snake. Uh, that's you. Uh, I just take the orc with me and kill him. That means that... That is not... That one, I think that one we didn't check yet. Oh, uh, we checked it. That was the nulls. Take that one. Oh no! The health can we get up. Fuck. Fuck! Come on, Nalls! The rest is I read teleportation just to make sure. Okay, they're both confused now, that's good. Magic that. Ah, and we got away. Whew. I would definitely put off that ring, it's too dangerous for me. Got enough power points with just just the two ring, uh, the other ring. It's one of those breads that we stole from the baker. Now we have to be really careful because we don't know this part of the map and we don't know a direct way to an upstairs. I'd like to check 
this direction first. A bit excited and a bit afraid. No. Ooh. And one turn right next to us. Blink. Good. Under a flame. Attack. Nice, there it goes. <sighs> good, good. First of the snakes is down. Oh, groom. Tough-looking Null wearing the pelt of one of his former war dogs. Didn't see us yet. Try to do some eyes out of range. So maybe we should magic that once he comes. Good. Magic dot. What happened? You are confused? How did that happen? Fuck. He's got a wand of confusion. That's not good. A bit of bad luck. We will run into our own fire now. We're not confused anymore. That's good. So let's confuse him. You can do that. We can do that too. He runs into the fire, very good. Nice, that should be his end. He got confused and ran into the fire. Well, luckily we didn't do that. Good. And down they go. Spellcasting, Conjuration, Invocation, all level up. Chances. That is perfect. Invocation 11%. I'd like to get that one higher, maybe. So, fire is out. No, 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 it's not out. Now it is. Just got him. Oh, before we go in there, we need to regenerate our power points. Whoo! You know, guys, that's a fun level so far. Frightening, a lot of fun. That a wand of digging, emergency escape, always good to have. Still, we don't know how to reach any uh, case. Nice. So I can take a lot. But now he's dead. Good job, Schmitty. No, is nearby. Two no's. Three no's. This one down. Uh,
good. Got this one. This one is also still. No shaman is still fused. Can we kill him before you? Yes, we can. Very good. Running a bit short on power points, but we won the fight. <coughs> so. Airboard flail. Enchanted whip. I don't think we need any of that. Yeah, the cloud and the, the flame. That's really what keeps us alive on these levels. Check how good this does are. Magic Dart is already at maximum power. The others are still a fair bit away from it. Conjure Flame and also Morphetic Cloud. They can get a whole lot stronger. The good thing is we don't suffer hunger from any of our spells. I just want to check if there's anything else in our spell books that we might want to have. Maybe I'd like to get a bit into hexes. Summon butterflies is a nice emergency escape if we need someone, some meat shield. Slow might help us. Invisibility might definitely help us. If we want to go into hexes. I, I, first, I, I learned slow. We can always forget it if we don't want it anymore. And I also want to increase our hexes a bit so we can cast it more reliably. couple of situations where I, I really wished I could slow my enemies. <coughs> okay, we will soon... yeah, yeah, now we connect the explored part of the level, the unexplored one. There are the orcs that I think now, if we know that they are there, Got a bit of distance between us and them. We should be able to kill them. Oops. Here is an owl. Mephitic Cloud. Good. Ah, pretty good. Just recording. Okay, that maul gets a bit too close for my taste. That is not the strongest of mauls, I think. No, no, he just has a club. Ah, he does damage. Good though. Good. I don't want you to do anything that gets on my nerves, so I confuse you. Zombie is in the way. Uh oh. Step. Wait. Cast Conjure Flame here. Good. Now quickly kill the first one. Kill the centaur zombie. It has no damage, literally. Good. Down it goes. And the null goes down as well. That was pretty successful. And a new ring, I want to try the ring. Ring of Sea Invisible, that's definitely always handy to have. Even if you don't wear it all the time, later when we find another good ring. As soon as we have got an invisible foe, we can directly use it. Ooh, scroll, let's check that out. Wow, vulnerability, crap. Okay, that's the first time we have to use our repel missile spell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Use them. And I 
attack. Where did he go? Yeah. Down he goes. Access to level 1 now. 8% failure chance for the slow spell. So no chance to cast invisibility. I'd be pretty glad if we could do that at one point. So, is that everything? Let's go once again, check that out. Wait. Scroll of fear. Okay, huh. too bad we burned that. Uh, bit of a waste. Ah, okay, snake. Where did it go? Did it die? No. Apparently it did. Down. And we're done with this level. I, I have to check something. Didn't we find the lair? No, the orc temple. Uh, the orc uh, mines. We actually didn't find that. Well, let's do one more level. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. An Atene, a Sky Beast, and a Phantom. I don't really like that. Under flame, just to make sure. <laughs> Second attempt work. Good. Good scabies. Ah, belly. Don't reach the stairs anymore, which is a bit a dangerous situation. Ah, down it goes, good. Next is the Atene. Can't see it anymore. There's an upstairs. Uh, uh, just make sure. Yeah, we go up here, we generate the power points. Here is the Eddie. There it went. Is that deep water? Try that out. <coughs> nah, apparently not. Ah, we killed it. Fine. <coughs> Invocation level 5, and we reach level 10. Now we've got loss less than 10% failure chance. I think that's enough for the, for the moment. Yeah. Keep it like that. Pretty fine that we kill the Atene like that. Did we drop? Who had it over corpse? Ah, yeah, the, I remember you. You were the third in that band. Blinks away. Kill the Phantom. Hexes reaches level 2. Slow is now at 4%. Excellent. Slow is pretty castable. Get it to three, and then it's okay for the moment. That shop looks interesting. What kind of a shop might that be? Ah, holy and plus bling, a morning star of doom. That's a weapon shop. Too bad. Nothing that's really of interest for us. Another enchanted dagger, though. We'll try them out. Ah, hey, Prince Rabbit. Prince Rabbit.
blink though, so maybe we'll be on the other side pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. Not for the cloud. Got some things away, that was pretty nice of him. And we killed him. Nice. Start as cops. That's what you do when the prince lies at your feet. That emulation pretty useless. Wand of teleportation, great. Good. Is <coughs> that crystal ball of energy? I'm not sure what that does. I pick it up. Let's take a look at this. A magical device which can be used to restore magical energy with its effectiveness increasing with evocation skill. However, it may fail and drain all of those energies completely or cause other negative mental effects. When used with a low reserve of magic, it becomes increasingly likely to deplete those reserves. Aha! Yeah. Hmm. Not sure if I want to take that risk. Remove curse, that's fine, that means we can now uh, just the other daggers. Ah yeah. Remove curse. I checked the other one as well. It's a vampiric dagger, I don't want to use that. We've got so little hit points that it's and so little protection in the lay at all. It makes no sense with that character to Oh, hi. Fuck. Let's see if we can slow him. Apparently we can't. Uh, blink. Hundred flames here. Hundred flames here. Can we kill him now? I think we can. No, he's dead. Fine. Apparently those ants are not very clever. Same with the scorpion. Uh oh. Ah, nice. Died pretty quickly to the flames. Identify, let's read that. <coughs> On the potion of mind. <coughs> Uh, actually, I cannot see us coughing that potion any time. Oh, fuck. Uh, we've got a few pests. By the way, why is our repel missile still, still on? Since we, since we use that. Uh -uh. Ah, good. That saved the day. Out. Ah, he ran through the flames, you idiot! Whew, good. Pretty tough fight though. Always want to eat a little bit. Axis 3, by the way. Check the results. Slow is getting to level 4 now. Minus 100. Could learn these dancing spells, but I actually don't think that this would really help us. This guy has a pretty big axe. Good luck. 
practically we all know from the Lord of the Rings, that guys such as him are afraid of fire. Down he goes as well. Fuck, what's that? Ah, luckily it's just a Wyvern zombie. Uh, I thought it was a Drake. Okay, just a Wyvern zombie. Will I regret these words? Look away. Set that on fire. I hope, yeah, yeah, the fire destroyed the zombie. Zombies are just too stupid to dodge flames. Okay, we need to repair myself again. Shitty cloud. <coughs> that looks pretty nice. I think the pathway is blocked, so the whites cannot reach us. Down he goes, very nice. Take the centaur corpse and eat it. Enchanted great sword. I'm sure there are many characters who would be happy about it. That's uh, finally the entrance to the lair, and oh oh. Okay, okay. She can throw frost. She can canter, but I don't know that. Throw flame, invisibility, magic dart, haste. I'll try to directly use the method cloud on her. She oh, she is confused, I see. Can throw flame to that space just because she walks in there. I think she's not confused anymore now. Let's see if we can kill her. Yeah, fuck. Check it from here. Psych ponders the situation. I don't know what that could mean. She's somewhere around, definitely. It's nice that we've got the entrance to the lair. Here she is. Can we kill her? Mephetic Cloud. Okay. Mephetic Cloud. And we killed her. Nice. Whew. Let's see what she dropped. She's got a magical rope and a dagger of chaos. I definitely take the rope. I don't take the dagger of chaos. Um, check out that rope. The rope of cold resistance. Could be occasionally useful. So in general, I stay with magic resistance. That's not a bad thing. Cool, cool. <coughs> We soon have hexes to level 4. <coughs> We're done exploring. That means we're also done with this episode. In the next episode, we will take a look into the lair. And I am pretty happy that once again we have been able to uh, keep the character alive. For a spellcaster that I play, it's already a small success to reach the lair. So let's really cross our fingers and hope that I will be able to keep her alive a little longer. Until then, thanks a lot for the comments, I was really happy about that, some nice hints as always, a couple of people told me that they enjoyed the series, and uh, thanks for the likes and everything, and uh, hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, bye everybody. <laughs>